First and second periods said to us, it looks like we still have bus legs. It almost kind of looked like that throughout the whole game, but we got it out a win. Well, just, just think about it, Dirk. I mean, uh, you know, when we're now nine games in, but every game you, you're trying to get ready to, to play and prepared. And, uh, you know, we've won a lot. And it, it's human nature to relax as much as we're trying to keep that, that pedal to the metal. It, it's difficult. And, and then you come into a team like Bemidji who skates well, uh, has played some really good teams, and they play a simple game. They, they got some speed and quickness, so they put a lot of pressure on you. So if you're just a little off, you're, you're going to be in trouble. And, you know, having said all that, I, I thought we got off to a good start, and we're playing pretty well until the penalty problems, you know, and then you know, we had to kill at least five minutes of uh, penalties in the second period. Having said that, we got the big shorthanded goal, and, you know, we're playing from the lead again. But uh, just, you know, too many uh, mistakes, you know, and... and most of that is mental and uh, whether the grind of you know we've been going since September now and uh, but I told the guys you know what we're gonna have nights where things don't go our way or you know the puck's not bouncing our way but you know we did a lot of good things too in this game and there's not many teams I know in the country that are 9 and all. Well, there's not, and uh, again, to, to come away with the win in a game like this where the Beavers, almost like they were smelling blood at times and just kept coming at us, coming at us, coming at us. And uh, Jamie Phillips, uh, the lack of rebounds he's given up to me it was a, a key to the game here tonight. Very few second chances for Bemidji State. Well, no doubt about it, and uh, if they did have any, I thought our, our defensemen, our forwards, did a real nice job collapsing and clearing the puck uh, when there was some trouble. So. Um, you know, and, and, and but all the little things. Matt Roy blocking that shot mm -hmm. at the end of the game, sacrificing his body, and uh, like I said, we we did a lot of good things. But it's a uh, we haven't seen a team uh, with this style, so it's difficult. I mean, they get the puck and they fire it off the glass and they just flood an area and they just skate, and uh, it, it, it's difficult because you know if you just relax that little bit of little bit and the guy gets a step on you, you're not going to catch him. But having said that, we got off to a good start. We created some good two on ones good three-on-twos. You know, we had some good scoring opportunities, too, we couldn't finish on. But you know, overall, uh, a, you know, a, a hard-fought and a very important uh, win for our team. And uh, like I said, you can slice it any way you want, but I thought we came in here and did what we needed to do. We scored on a few of our opportunities. We got great goaltending, uh, fairly disciplined throughout the game. But, uh, you know, a big win. I mean, uh, as we as we move forward, Dirk, it's going to get it tougher and tougher and tougher. And uh, you know, I don't know if people understand how difficult it is to, uh, to... When was the last time Michigan Tech won nine games? And when you, you were know, playing. Well, when was the last time Michigan Tech won five games <laughs> uh, to start a year or on the road consecutively? It, it's, it's difficult, you know, and, and it's going to be another battle tomorrow. But uh, having said that, the two points are huge. You know, you just... You know, Minnesota State was idle. Bowling Green was not playing in the league. You get two more points up on them, and... Uh, I can't say enough how important these points are going to be at the end of the year. But just look like the guys were doing anything they could to got this one out yeah. here tonight. You could tell they were tired out there. Uh, they did. But how about C.J. Ike tonight? The the great shorthanded goal, but defensively, and you kept throwing him back out yeah. there on the penalty kill, and he just kept making great plays. Well, I did, and uh, you know, but C.J. is a great skater. He's in, in great shape, great condition, so he can handle that. And uh, you know, and he's got that quickness. He can get to those loose pucks, uh, and that's why we had him out there. But uh, real good job by all those guys that were out there at the end. Blake Pietola, Reed Sturles, Mike Neville, you know, Dylan Stemmen, you know, uh, great job. You know, Alex Patan, Tanner Carroll, and all our defensemen. So, you know, it's just a good team win, you know. And, and we talked about being on the road. We're not here to put on a show. We're just here to try and get a victory and find a way to win. And we did that tonight. What did you say to the guys after? Was that kind of the sentiment, kind of, uh, you know, hey, you do whatever you have to do to win this game and, and, and get back out there tomorrow night and well, play better. Well, yeah, enjoy the win. Yeah. Enjoy the win. You know, it, it's 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 easy to, to get frustrated and, and maybe we didn't play our best, but you have to enjoy the victory tonight. You really do. I mean, uh, and we talked about some of the individual efforts, uh, the block shot, Jamie's uh, uh, performance, you know, C.J. Ike scoring big shorthand and goal. There are a lot of good things going on, and it's, like I said, uh, college hockey is a lot of parity, and every night you got to suit up and be ready to go and, and find a way to win, and uh, so I just told them to enjoy it, you know, and uh, it's not going to be, be any easier tomorrow. I mean, uh, it's difficult. Just just go around college hockey and then see how many teams, uh, number one, are undefeated, and then number two, how many uh, road teams uh, won. You know, yeah. I mean, Anchorage went in and got spanked by Ferris. They gave up 14 goals. I think we gave up one when we went into Ferris. So it's it's hard. It, it's difficult. And 
Um, I just thought our guys did, you know, everything they could in their in their power to try to win this game, especially the third period. We had the lead. We hung on to the lead. Uh, we had a couple good chances, and, you know, we won the game. Did you That's think, the bottom line. Did you think two goals would win it going into the third, Coach? Did you think there'd be more scoring? Well, I thought there might be more scoring, but, uh, you know, I, I knew we were going to have to kill a penalty, and we did, and uh, I thought our penalty killers did an outstanding yeah, job Yeah, they tonight, really did too. tonight. So uh, that was a, another key to the victory. But, uh, you know, we have to enjoy it, but we also have to be – honest with ourselves and we'll talk tomorrow about some things we can do better and you know maybe try and make some changes with lines or whatever and get some guys playing better coach congratulations on the win it was uh, <laughs> uh i mean just one of those it just felt like uh at the end there something was going to go wrong and you guys just hung on and hung on and, and really made some nice plays to get the puck out of the well zone. there was and a lot of good things you know i mean even the third period I'll, I'll watch the film and see how many really good grade a chances they had in the third i, I don't think they had many you know they might have had a couple but you know, when you have six guys against five, you know, it, it, you're, you're going to get a shot maybe or two and you need your goalie to make the save. But uh, overall, I'm just extremely proud of this team and uh, for them to start the season like we have and, and five road games. Uh, you know, I, I mean, there were years we didn't even win five games and to, to have five road wins this early in the season and. Uh, it's great, and they're all they're all league games that we've won on the road. So, yeah. so that's huge. I don't even know how many road games we won last year in the league. So, uh, we're doing a lot of good things. We're doing a lot of right things, and, and, the, and the beauty of it was we're finding a way to win. We're, we're learning how to win, uh, what you need to do, and. You know, for the most part, that'll help us down the road as we get into tight games. Well, Coach, no other Michigan Tech team has ever started 9-0, and so congratulations <laughs> on well, that. Well, yeah, and that, you know, that's all on our players. They've, they've done a good job, and uh, like I said, it's hard to every game, you know, to get ready and, uh, you know, back-to-back -back games and traveling on the road like we have the first uh, – you know, month and a half, two months or so. Uh, but we'll be better tomorrow. I, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's yeah. game. I mean, uh, we have resilient players. Uh, I know they'll be anxious to, to play better. And, and we, we have the, the beauty of it is we have a lot of guys that can play better. Yeah. So that's the encouraging thing. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks for your time, and good luck tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll take it, Dirk, and uh, thanks uh, very much. And just, uh, again, want to thank all our fans back home for all the support and all the emails and all the well wishes. And, uh, you know, we're trying to do whatever we can to represent you and, and continue the streak. Very good. Coach Pearson here on Mix 93, brought to you by Aspirus Kiwata. Great.